Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about four major airlines that we found out were sold off by our famous Warren Buffett. And I was kind of shocked to hear that he took and sold all of his stake of the airline stocks. Maybe I would have probably sold some and bought some more on the dip and cost average down or tried to make that, but he has his reasons and I'm fine with that. The four big ones that we're going to be talking about is going to be the um, AAL, Dow, UAL, and LUV. Those were the four stakes that he was invested in, and Buffett held stakes roughly of 8 to 10% in the four largest carriers, and that are the ones that I'm going to be talking about. He has some of his major reasons, and um, he, he's concerned about just the change in the airline industry in itself. And he admits that he made a mistake by buying them. And he also, you know, was just being honest and dealt straightforward with the shareholders over the weekend. So I'm thinking we're kind of at a bottom right now unless we go down and we have more drama in the market, which we probably could. And we're going to go ahead and talk about some of these stocks. But we've been hitting the bottom of these channels on these trades in a way here for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the first one and that's going to be AAL. We'll pull up the yearly chart and take a good look at it. You see we kind of built us a little channel down here, have a descending pattern as you can see where it's kind of pulled back and I'm going to go ahead and draw a line right there. Probably to right about there. And we have this double, double bottom right here at 909. And AAL did, did dip down there. We were up here at a high of right around the 1307 area. So I'm thinking we're in a channel. And if we do pull back, we can probably retrace back up to these higher levels again. And I would say my, maybe my first target, and we're going to pull up the 20-day right here on AAL. And I'm thinking we're going to low support right down here at 941. It can dip down to right around this area right in here, right around that $9 area. That would be a strong buy. Let me go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to get that $9 in there. Right across, whoop. Right there at 901. So that's going to be our low, low support. And then our first one's going to be here right around 941. And then we've got another, maybe that first support's going to be right here, right around the 971 area. And then resistance to break is going to be right here at 1016. And if we can break that resistance level, we'll bring it up to the gap. And that's going to be right here at 1064. So we've got that gap fill that needs to take place. And that's right there at 1064. I'm going to go ahead and put another little pivot point area in here right at 1038. So we have a low support right here at 901. That first one's going to be right here at 972 with a resistance to break. And that's going to be right in here right at the 1016 area. And that can fill the gap. And then the gap will be like a, a good solid resistance area at 1064. And if it breaks at 1064, we can bring it up to this other top that we had right in here at 1106. And then we've got other places on it. Oh, this is a beautiful spot right here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that in red. Make that a little bit bigger. That's going to be like kind of like a resistance level, a hard resistance. And if we can break that hard resistance Oh, I put the wrong one. Yeah, that right there. If we can break these two hard resistances right in here, we'll bring it back up to these new highs. And that's going to be at 12, and then probably right around in this little area right in here at 1245, all the way up to 1307. But I think we're in a little channel. We did have pretty hard pullback on it last week. And then today when it, it, the news came out about Buffett selling all of his stakes, and then we kind of hit that double top area and that was created today's resistance from this bottom channel right here. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Dow, D-A-L. I'm going to type that in real fast. 
I got this one all charted up too. I have a little support right down here. Let's pull up the yearly chart and we can see that they've all took a pretty good beating and we know what's going on with the Cronus. And, but I think once they open up the airlines, all these stocks are going to have a real nice pop on them. And if you can get down here in at the bottoms, that'd be the best time to get in. And we're going to go ahead and pull this up, but you see the big sell off we had. And then she did run up last week. Run up this one here ran up to right around 27.33. They did receive some bailout money, which is go ahead and, and okay for me. And we're going to go ahead and pull up the uh, 20 day chart right now. So we've got three low supports on it. That's going to be down here right around the 20.52, 21.22, and then that first one right down here right around the 22.13. And then we've got the resistance channel, the pivot point which is between 2294 and 2382 and if we can break that we'll bring it up to these other new highs and that's going to be right around the 2453, 2523 and 2563 and then we'll find a little bit of resistance right there and we could start be, start creating a little channel so that's going to be Dow and I'm bullish on Dow Delta let's go ahead and look at UAL Right here, we've got a low support on the 20-day, right around 2084. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, one-year time frame. Had the same kind of reaction, the great pullback. We have a descending pattern like we've seen in the other trades. So we're getting ready to squeeze, or maybe we're getting ready to drop on down a little bit lower. But for right now, I think this 2125 is going to be your low support. We'll pull this up on the 20-day. Right here, right around the 21.25, going to be your low, 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 strong buy for right now. If it does decide to pull back, we did have a knee-jerk reaction today, and most of every one of them bounced up, bounced up to resistance levels. So we have the second one right here at 22, 22.71, and then we have 23.70, and then that very first support level, which is pretty strong. That's where we dipped down here before and had that bounce up. We could probably hit that 24.85. And then resistance to break is going to be right in this area right in here, right around the $28 level, 27, $27.87 to 28 And then you have your other three resistance levels, which would be $28.94. It would have to take a pretty good catalyst to get it back up here to the top. We did fail the triple top on the 20-day, and it did pull back pretty hard. And now we started to retrace. So I can't see, wait to see the action on all these airline stocks tomorrow morning when I wake up. And then we've got one more to go. We've got LUV. And I'll type that in real fast. I have that low support right around here at 2582. I'm going to pull up the yearly chart and see if we got any lower on this. I mean, that's definitely down here at the bottom. It took a pretty good beating today. Finding out about the Warren Buffett news, did we hit a dead cat bounce? I'm not for sure. I know that 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 earnings ain't going to be too good, and they're going to be horrible. So we could have another big pullback once we figure out on all these airline stocks if they're going to be, you know, running no ride or not. But I think we're in a bottom right here. So we're going to go ahead and pull up the 20-day for right now. I'm just going to be playing the action, probably scalping on unless they come down here and I start getting some good news and then they'll pop back on up. But for right now, the support level is at 26.73 with a low at 25.82 right there. If we hit that low 25.82, I'll call it a double bottom and bring it up to resistance level. And that'll be right around the 28.29 level. That 28.29 is gonna be pretty strong. That's where we had the double bottom before and it bounced on up. So we've had an initial pullback 2582 then you have the other one here at 2673 2737 with a resistance channel a pivot point area between this spot right here at 2831 and then you bring it on up to the other three resistance levels and that'll be 2895 2982 and 3044 and that's going to be LUV and that's it for the after for for this report on the airline stocks, Warren Buffett had his reasons to get out of the trade. That's all right for him, but I'm having my reasons maybe to start scalping them and start running them back up a little bit. 
always remember we do have a web page here we have a twitter account if you hit the twitter account and um, you'll get right to our i love stocks channel hit that follow button miss vegas is going to do a video a little bit later i think on some options trades and she did have a nice one today this spy so she'll talk about it maybe and we're going to go ahead and go back to the website we do have our stock twits right here we have our pinterest and our youtube channel subscribe make sure you subscribe ring that bell and hit that like button we really appreciate that ringing that bell will give you future updates or notifications when we put out a new video and always remember we love stocks have a great day